Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org. Enjoy. You are living evidence that we are overcoming the stain of Satan. We are overcoming You are proof that we have overcome the bite of the poisonous serpent. You received an antidote that saved your life. What a blessing. I'm so happy to know this name. Yahweh. Know the power of this name. Yahweh. This name is in written historical evidence long before I took up his body. Glory to Yahweh. Oh, the Supreme One. The Erudite One. The Elite. The Majestic One. The Luminous One. Glory to his name. Just his name. know this name, the more you know about this name, the more your soul will rejoice. You can't keep quiet and know about this name. There go. That's why we say that he's God of all gods, because this name alone gives us mind power over every other entity there is except Yahweh. How wonderful it is. I'm excited about the name Yahweh. Welcome to Feast of Tabernacles. We're going to deal for a few minutes on names and significance. The significance of names. Or names and their significance. You will need your Bible tonight. As you do ever read. Feast of Tabernacles is celebrated in autumn at the completion of the agricultural year to also recall our attention to our long pilgrimage through the wilderness. We did not get enough of the wilderness when we left Egypt at Passover. It is our fathers, our forefathers, that was delivered from Pharaoh in Egypt. Not some other people, but us. And we wandered in the wilderness 40 years. And that 40 years was a sign of 400 years that we would wander in the wilderness of the hells of North America. All we had to do was add a zero to it, and it turned out to be 400 years. But our wandering right after deliverance was a sign of today. Therefore, the Feast of Tabernacles also commemorates a renewal of our covenant, our agreement with Yahweh and his agreement with us. The Feast of Tabernacles is also known scholastically as the Feast of Ingathering. The Feast of Ingathering. Let us turn to Exodus chapter 23, verse 16. Exodus chapter 23, verse 16. And let us read together. Read. And the peace of Arden, the first fruit of thy labor, which thou hast sown in the field, and the peace of in gathering, which is in the end of the year, when thou hast now, I must take a moment.
moment and give you the spiritual understanding of this today. Since last night, I think I proved we don't have any physical crops. So then what is the end gathering? The end gathering is first the resurrection of our people in the nick of time, the resurrection, and then gathering them together in one nation as the nation of Yahweh at the end of this civilization's rule. That means that he has but how many years? Seven, according to our solar time. And uh, we're going to bring about his end. Then that song that our people knew would happen one day will become a reality. Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. Remember that? Lose for you, Satan. Satan, we gonna tear the kingdom down. Now, when we used to sing that, we just thought that was an old saint. And we didn't have a good understanding. But now that you've met me, oh, yes, we're gonna tear it down. And I'm gonna change the pitch a little bit, but we have to say it again. Satan, we gonna tear your kingdom down. Satan, we gonna tear your kingdom down. You've been building your kingdom all over this world, but Satan, we're gonna tear your kingdom down. Are you ready? We're not gonna let it hang for another seven years. It has to go. Satan's kingdom must go. That means we have a lot of work to do in a short time to do it in. So the end gathering, that's what Feast of Tabernacles is all about. Gathering the saints of Yahweh together at the end of this civilization's room. And with only seven years left, according to our solar time, I must get it done. Simple as that. And I have a divine number to reach in getting it done. I'm here to get the job done. And just bringing our 144 thousand together is going to get it. That's all it's going to take. We will be, when you join your mind with me, you'll understand what being connected is all about. Yes, Yahweh. That's a lot of knowledge I could go into now. But do we understand what the end gathering is? It's for this day. Let's look at Exodus 34, chapter 34, verse 32. Let's go with verse 22. Exodus 32. 34, 22. Read. Because the kingdom of heaven 
was compared to a man who sowed some seeds, and it was also compared to wheat growing up with the tares. In order for the kingdom of heaven to come into existence, the tares have to grow up with the wheat. And that's exactly what happens at the time of the end gathering. It happens among the first fruits. That's what the first feast of weeks is all about. It celebrates all of you that have come to me at this time. And then the end gathering will be when the mass of the 144,000 men come to me, including the women. Let's look at Leviticus chapter 23, verse 34. Read. by law, but this day is Yahweh's feast. Yahweh is present on the earth with us. Yahweh himself is in our midst. You know how powerful that is? They have the creator of the universe 
here on the earth, walking and talking with us. You can behold his glory. You can behold the glory of Yahweh in his son. But you know, that is a phenomenal time to live. Here's Yahweh. You don't have to wish you were back 1900 years ago. You don't have to wish you were with Adam to see him walk and talk with Yahweh. And if you can believe that which you have never seen and say you believe in Yahweh whom you've never seen, how are you going to turn around and discount me who you see? That's irrational. To believe in something you can't see, can't prove, you just believe it. And then you have this same God the same man, the same divine mind with you now. Challenge, challenge what I teach. Go find something superior to what I teach. You can't just claim it to be superior. You have to know what I teach to compare it. You can't compare what I teach with anything else unless you first are the master of what I teach. Then you have to become the master of that other stuff that you want to compare this to. <laughs> That's real. So if you're not, I mastered all religions. I mastered all of them. I know the in and the out of every single one of them. No exception. I know every ism on, on the planet Earth. And I know all the ifs, all the ifs, all the isms. <laughs> so I'm qualified to compare and make a choice. How could I be intelligent and choose a lesser God to one that is supreme? In order for me to have studied all the gods, And the one that was withheld from me was Yahweh. In all my studies, I didn't have to be confused. Yahweh was totally out of the picture. And I knew the name and the religion and the tenets and the laws and every, of every religion. I have all their books right now in my library. Of everything in my library. Read every single one of them, cover to cover. Did a statistical and comparative analysis of all of them. And then Yahweh entered my mind. I was raised up. And then I discovered Yahweh is God over all. He's superior over all of it. So what's the logical thing for me to do? Switch off from all that stuff to that which is superior. That's logical. Then it's incredible to discover, for me to discover, I am Yahweh, the superior one. That's incredible. Greetings, royal family. Let's talk about the most prestigious private university in the universe the university of yahweh it is here where students parents adults and teachers study the divine mind of yahweh ben yahweh thus elevating them to contemplate and understand the loftier concepts and principles enabling their minds to focus and think on and extraterrestrial level. This intellectual ability and unique set of skills supersede all base, mundane, and terrestrial thinking, thus allowing one's minds to open up and flourish with an overwhelming abundance of creative ideas and loftier concepts 
making life and living more enjoyable. The University of Yahweh is woven deep within the fabric of the moral principles of truth, honesty, integrity, true holiness, righteousness, ethics, and justice for all. The University of Yahweh is designed for the Godhead, and this includes students, parents, adults, and the Godhead. In the University of Yahweh, the online platform, you gain a structured format to the approach of the divine mind of Yudhe Yahweh. We welcome you to visit our website at www.universityofyahweh.org. This platform is specifically designed for the Godhead and the Godhead family. The 144,000 chosen to rule in righteousness. We look forward to working with you as we prepare for rulership in righteousness. Praise Yute Wafe. Praise Yute Wafe. Beit Noon Sophie Yute Wafe. Shalom, world family. Thank you.